Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll take a full deep dive into fetch.io. We'll try to understand as much as we can. We'll go through some of the latest blog announcements, which has been some good news in the fetch.io ecosystem as of recently. So this needs to be explained. We'll also go for a price analysis and I'll do my best to explain why I think that this is definitely a 10x potential cryptocurrency. The thing is that Fetch.io has a lot of potential and it's actually quite underrated in my opinion. It's underrated, it's undervalued itself. The market cap is 271 million alone. That's quite undervalued in my opinion. Truth to be told, we're not far from seeing this crypto completely exploding. I'll also explain why in the near future, I can seriously see Fetch.io being at least around $10. That's my realistic price analysis for the long-term future. Long-term meaning nine months, possibly even, possibly even 15 to six months, but it all depends on how much development they can accomplish. How much development can they do in such a short period of time? But ultimately, I'm thinking at least one or two years before people really starting to appreciate this crypto, such as how they appreciate Terra, Solana, and other cryptos that are really high in popularity. But anyway, let's get into Fetch itself. So what exactly is Fetch? Well, it's a decentralized digital representation of real world in which autonomous software agents perform useful economical work. So to do this, they rely heavily on machine learning. ML and artificial intelligence AI. That's why Fetch AI is known as Fetch AI. The AI standing for artificial intelligence. They heavily invest in on this idea. They're heavily advancing and developing in this idea. So Fetch goal is to automate a limitless number of markets that require tremendous manual intervention. Now, according to the team, autonomous economical transactions are expected to deliver near frictionless marketplace operating at a very fast pace. Fetch relies on near autonomous system integrating multiple components of complex systems, easy integration and use of machine learning and AI outcomes into decision making without needing a thorough understanding of machine learning or AI techniques and collective intelligence made of machine and human intelligence to create a non-soiled AI model leading to improvements in decision-making processes. That's a quick introduction to Fetch itself, but I guarantee that you need an introduction to the token as well to get a proper understanding of why this token will be so useful. Well, the token is known as FET, F-E-T, but it's also known as Fetch AI. Now it uses the value of exchange on the network it is a payment method for all transaction fees and also a refundable method of registering on the ledger and can be staked to secure overall network. So most of those things that we're familiar with. However, the one that most of us might not be familiar with is the refundable method of registering on the ledger. That is something that's quite uncommon in the crypto space. So now that we've been through a quick introduction, let me just say that the price is 39 cents. Now this is not financial advice, it's strictly for educational purposes, but we are gonna be doing a price analysis. This is important. First thing we wanna do is gather some information from the last 30 days. Where's this coming from? Less than 30 days ago, this coin was as low as 31 cents. Bear in mind, around the 5th of April, it was 52 cents, quite significant, with only 87 million in a 24 hours transaction period. That was a transaction value. Now that number has fallen to around 21 million in a given 24 hours transaction period. But I'm not really focusing on the transaction period too much. Take a look at the chart and take a look at the last 90 days. Except for the last five days where the price has fallen from above 50 cents to where it is right now. Take a look at the token and tell me what you see. Well, it's quite simple to be honest. This token has been growing gradually this entire month. It's been on an upward trajectory. Yes, it's been volatile, but ultimately, I believe that's because it's having an organic growth. You see, this crypto isn't necessarily overhyped like a lot of cryptos out there, which means that an organic growth shows strength of long-term valuation which means that it's gonna be a lot stronger than it is right now in the near future. A secondary thing we have to do is look back even three months in the past. 24th of February, the price was 23 cents with an 18.5 million in a given 24 hours transaction period. But once again, even from that point, 
people clearly understood that it was completely undervalued at that price. And what happened, it gradually rose up in price to above 50 cents. Now I'm not saying 50 cents is its realistic price at the moment. What I'm saying is it is on the value and in the near future, this crypto will easily be five to $10. $10 in 15 to six months in my personal opinion. Yes, it does. Yes, it heavily depends on the development growth of the ecosystem. So speaking of the ecosystem, what do they have planned? A better autonomous ecosystem. They want an autonomous ecosystem privacy preserving, encryption at rest, in transit during learning and throughout the ecosystem, benefits from big data insights, automations without handing over your data or your customers. You understand that? We live in an age where it's very sensitive. Data information, data protection is very, it's a sensitive topic. And this is one of their key focus is privacy preserving. Rewards. New reward streams increase yields, massive incomes are enabled by fetch IO rewards, create machine learning models, rewards others to participate, then profit from utilizing insights and selling predictions. Interconnected, intelligent applications on fetch.io network automatically connects with each other to form a web autonomous agent that can learn new ways to better serve you. Out of the box, scalability, robustness and resistancy, Built on the Cosmos ecosystem, Fetch.io provides a safe and secure network for validators that lets you focus on your application. That's their future plan for this ecosystem, for this network. What I love most is not just the decentralization that, that they're bringing to the market, that they're building on Cosmos ecosystem. That's key right there. But privacy preserving technology that they're building. Not to mention their interconnected applications on Fetch IO network automatically connects with other people to form a web of autonomous agent. That's key. And if you want to get a better understanding, the fetch.ai ecosystem page. This will get you a proper understanding of what they're building. Powered by Fetch AI, access to the world's first DEX focused on token based commodity trading. Atomics enables stablecoin holders to supply liquidity and receive a yield composed of protocol generated returns, ATMX rewards. This is highly competitive compared to the return delivered by decentralized finance and traditional alternatives. Mobix incentivizes the micro mobility ecosystem with an incentive scheme for sustainable urban mobility, whether you use your provided micro mobility service or offer infrastructure. It continues, collective learning. CoLearn is the library that enables privacy preserving decentralized machine learning tasks on FET network. That's the native token network. It enables individuals to collab in a fully trusted environment where sensitive data is kept 100% private. And in case you want to check up on that for yourself, check up on the facts. Well, there's the development documents, collective learning, and this will give you some more information amongst other things on why they're so widely trusted. But ultimately, like I said, the popularity of this service, what they provide will just grow in popularity over time. And they're one of the best in what they do. Focusing strongly on artificial intelligence. Yes, they're one of the few who are doing this in the crypto world, but they're one of the few who are doing this to their best. But ultimately we need someone, we need a, we need a protocol to do this properly. And I do believe that's Fetch AI. Now, in other news, Fetch AI announced partnership with West Ham United. So a partnership with West Ham United as the club's first exclusive official artificial intelligence partner. The partnership is extended to Fetch.ai, designated as official global partner of West Ham United, non-exclusive, and official partner with West Ham United Women Football Club, non-exclusive. Fetch and West Ham will seek to leverage and promote the impact of artificial intelligence in improving businesses and day-to-day -day life. The partnership will see the brand Fetch AI and its applications promoted on West Ham United matches at London Stadium across the LED perimeter advertising systems and displays. They also announced a partnership with Indocoin. That was in the latter parts of January, but what's got me even more but what's got me even more excited is their roadmap for the Q2 
for Q1 and Q2 of 2022. Now, obviously, we're done with Q1. We're in Q2 now. The question is, what do they have planned? Ecosystem development. And here's where I get really interested. Developers portal, inviting developers to create applications deployable on, on fetch.ai mainnet. This is brilliant. This is why I say that fetch AI will be able to compete one day with Terra, Solana, and the rest of the, and a lot of platforms out there that you can create decentralized applications. Fetch is focusing heavily on artificial intelligence and privacy preserving network. This is everything developers want to create applications. Evaluate an apps marketplace for users and developers. Ecosystem development initiatives, fetch AI funds for developers to build and deploy applications at their mainnet. On their mainnet, hackathon testnet to create solutions built for the ecosystem of fetch. Not to mention the ledger mainnet, upgrade to the network to Capricorn release. They go for a lot of technical information, DeFi agents, enhanced DeFi agents compatibility, indexing of transactions histories to improve responsiveness of the UI, the user interface, improve wallets analytics for, for DeFi strategy formation, rebranded website and dashboard for improve UX user experience. Not to mention a deployment of FET, that's the native crypto powered by DeFi agent on other EVM networks, Ethereum virtual machine networks. Ladies and gents, if you don't see that this crypto has huge potential for the future, you need to take a closer look. You need to watch this video again and look at all the things that they have planned for Q2. This is only Q2. This is not even Q3 and Q4 of this year. They have bigger plans. And those will be announced and I cannot wait to take a look at those plans. But first, let's focus on Q2 and let's focus on accomplishing these things because the most exciting parts for me is inviting developers to create applications that are deployable on the fetch.ai. That's, that's what's got me most excited. Allowing developers to create applications. Yes, this is what I like. This is what I want to see. This is ultimately what I want from the fetch.ai ecosystem development development and development and never ending and never stopping development so thank you for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it subscribe to see more and if you have any question leave a comment let's have a discussion and i will see you in my next video